Today I've got five tips for you for your Canon 7D Mark II and your Sigma 150 to 600. I'm going to show you how to set the custom suck functions on both the camera and the lens and chuck some extra tips in as well. So watch to the end because there'll be extras, but only if you're good. See you later. To the tips in a minute. This is a Canon 7D Mark II and this is the Sigma I'm using. Now I do a lot of flight photography and in the video I'll show you how to set these but I use two back button focuses, one and two. And the second one, the star button, is for flight photography. I press it, it's instantly set up for flight photography. I can change it by using my wheel. I can use exposure compensation by using the set button. I'll explain in the rest of the video. But before we get on with the tips, when doing, back flight, photo when doing flight photography, don't go to 600 straight away. Practice on 150, 200 or 300. Practice using your second button and just track your birds flying. If you think you can get a shot, then you just press your index finger while keeping hold of your back button focus and you've got the bird. Enjoy the rest of the video and give me a like if you like. See you later. So coming next, I'm going to show you how to set the Sigma lens custom functions. So this is the uh, menu. I'm going to customize my lens. This is a customization one, the fourth one down. I'm going to set the C1 and the C2. Click the customization mode, a setting button, and there you have it. C1 button, C2. So this is what my C1 settings look like. I will show you in the C2 in more detail. But then there are three things you can alter. So let's go into C2 now. And if you click on the auto focus speed setting, you'll see it's fast as AF priority. And then with the other three settings you can choose from, I've gone for the auto focus speed. And if you read the others, it will show you. Now the focus limiting setting on this one, I've set it from 15 meters to infinity. And that means the lens will always hunt in the orange area. You can alter this how you like. All you do is move it up or down. By the way, the C1, I'll click OK, the C1 is set from 5 meters. Now we're on the moderate view mode. And it's like an all-rounder, this one. This is the one I prefer, the moderate view. You can play with the other settings if you like. But this one is better for me. Click the OK button when you're OK with it. Click the rewrite button and agree, read and agree. It just takes a second now to just rewrite the firmware, the settings that you've done back to your lens. And there you go. You've set your custom functions now in your lens. Sorted. Next, I'm going to show you how to set the back button focusing on your Canon camera. Coming next. To set your back button focus, go to the orange menu of the third page. At the bottom, you will have your custom functions. And there it is. These are all the buttons now you can set on your camera. So my AF on is set for one back button focus, as you can see highlighted on the back of the camera. There you go. That's just normal. Now my second back button is for flight photography, the star. Assign the camera with the angles on there. And then we'll go back in, we'll set these, we'll custom control that camera icon. And in there you've got the shutter speed of one two thousandth of a second. So just to show you, you can set this for any shutter speed you like, to scroll up and down. Press set and it's OK. And going down the menu you can set all of these. I've just set a few. And the selection mode is AF zone. My tracking, my sensitivity, and I've got my first image as a focus priority. Just to show you that. Focus priority. And the second one is too. So the first and second and so on and so forth should be focused. Register these settings. 
and now your back button focus will apply all the settings. If you're shooting with your camera, and like it is now, it's overexposed, you can quickly amend that by using exposure compensation. And I set the set button on the back of the 7D to do precisely that. So I just press it, roll the top wheel, and it takes it up and down the meter, especially when you get bright coloured birds or light coloured birds flying across. I'll just quickly show you how to set that as well while I at it. To set your exposure compensation, I've set it on the set button. So when I press this and I roll the dial, it will take me from minus to plus exposure compensation. Just register the setting on the set button as you can see there. Very handy. You can do it at the flick of a switch. So at the moment I'm in the lakes. So let's carry on with the tips. And now I'm going to talk about the Sigma lens a little bit more and the custom functions you can set. Back to the studio. To micro adjust your lens if it's not really sharp, you can go into this setting, it's called the focus setting, and you can set or micro adjust each element at each range from 150 through to 600. Now this would mean you having to take the lens on and off, adjusting it minus or plus in the range on it. When you've done this, you will click rewrite. When you're happy, by the way, you'll click rewrite and that would be the job done. I'd just like to add that you can micro adjust in the Canon 7D2 itself in the purple menu. So I'll move it towards the mountains or the camera icon, depending on the adjustment needed. Do it on the just by lens so every single lens you put on can be a different adjustment. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. This is the Lake District. So if you're going to come out doing photography, this is the type of place you want to be. Check the link below. I've got a Facebook group called Northwest Wildlife Watchers as well. See you later. Here's another tip for you, and this is if you haven't got anything to carry, let me just get it now, I've got this big heavy tripod, now it's not easy to carry around so the best thing to do is attach it to your bag somehow, now here's what I've done, this is a cable tie on this convenient loop or hoop, I've got a bungee, and watch this. I'm ignoring them two legs. I've got the cable tie just the right size to hold them. I close the legs, I push them through the bungee, put the cable tie as far as I can go. I now have a convenient homemade. Tripod carrier. Saves me buying a new bag. Because I like this one. <laughs> Action bag. <man. laughs> I just need to find my camera now because I put it down on the floor. There it is over there. <laughs> right, I found my camera now. I'll just put it there. I've got one more good tip for you here now. I might be struggle getting my bag out, but here's another tip. And this, if you want to save money, this. I bet you can't guess what I'm going to do. This lens isn't waterproof. This camera is waterproof. Or weather sealed. These used to be waterproof leggings. I have a big one that goes entirely over the camera and the lens on the tripod and this one is my portable waterproof lens covering over it goes and the little snappies that come over your legs just fit very nicely 
look at that. Over. Then your lens. If it's really bad, I can get it just over like that. I now can comfortably go out in the rain take pictures. The only thing I've done is destroyed my waterproof pads. There yeah. Free tip.